Hello. Okay. Um, checking in. I have a couple updates and some stuff to share. So, um, anyway, I talked to Herbal Essence um, about the um, reconditioning conditioner, the Herbal Essence Hydrolicious. Um, I'm going to say that it's probably not bad for our hair. I'm not going to say that because I talked to Clairol and they assured me of that. I'm going to say that because I got several, several messages from um, um, Tar Heel Chemist. Um, I'm assuming her tag name is what it is because she's a chemist. Um, and several other YouTubers. I also emailed um, Curly Nikki from CurlyNikki.com blog and um, I asked everybody about the sodium hydroxide and all the feedback I got was that either it is to pH balance the conditioner or to preserve the conditioner and that it will not uh, be harmful to hair. Nobody, well, Curly Nikki kind of insinuated that it wouldn't do anything to your hair over time but nobody else could really say that um, it would would or wouldn't do anything to your hair if you used it on a regular basis over the course of a year or whatever. Um, but I'm going to say that since this is a conditioner, it's not a relaxer, you know, um, I'm going to say that it's, it's not harmful. Um, the one thing I think I will do though, uh, because I did talk to Clearall and I did verify that um, it was not in the um, previous conditioner. So it wasn't in Totally Twisted, wasn't in Hello Hydration. Um, I think I'm just going to switch back to those. I'm going to go ahead and use this because I love it. I love the way it feels. But I'm going to just switch back. Whenever I buy some more, I'll just buy the old one and, you know, um, and forego uh, repurchasing this, I guess. I don't know. I guess maybe it wasn't that big of a deal. It was just really alarming to see the word lie in an ingredient list. And when I called Clairol, um, the woman that I spoke to was a woman who relaxes her hair. And she said she'd like to know. Um, she doesn't. She didn't know what it was for. She was able to look it up. And it was something about increasing the water uptake in hair. Um, so it was an alternate use aside from using it for um, a relaxer. So... Um, she said that she would make a note of it, report it to Clairol, and, um, you know, try to find out just because, uh, you know, she'd like to know as well. But I got a lot of good feedback from you guys that I uh, really appreciate, and um, so I'm going to trust that it's not going to mess with my hair. So I'll at least use the uh, three bottles that I have, and then we'll go from there. Um, in reference to my hair, um, you guys know that I did the uh, banding technique. And um, I did the banding with the flexi rod, and I love that style. I said I was going to play with it this week and see how it looked. Um, I liked it. Um, the only thing with that style is that it starts out looking really cute, and then it gets like bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. And you know, my hair is big already, but it doesn't need to be big. You know, maybe if I was going to go out on a Saturday night or something like that, Friday night, I could get away with it because then I could make it really big and glamorous and fierce looking. But for work, it was a little bit overwhelming. It just got, you know, by the time I went to school um, Monday night, my hair was like out to here. It was huge and there wasn't anything, I couldn't do anything with it. I mean, I love the way it looked in a way, but it just didn't seem appropriate for the things that were going on that day, like I was going to school and working. And so, um, let's see, I, I um, pin curled it that night to try to tame it down a little bit. It turned out the same exact way the next day. So, I mean, it's great, but it just wasn't appropriate really for work. So then I was like, hey, let me flat iron it. So I flat ironed my hair and um, I had the same problem I always have with getting the um, ends totally straight. And um, then I contacted Leo Body C5 and she um, explained to me how to steam it with the max, how to steam the ends with the maxi glide and get them straight. Um, and I did that and it worked. So thank you, Leo Body. You're so beautiful. 
But uh, thank you, that really helped. Anyway, so it worked, and my hair is nice and straight. Um, the only thing is, is that this was straight, straight. I mean, this was like bone straight, flat to my head, and already it's like this. And if I do nothing to it, it'll just get bigger and bigger, and then I'm going to have to hit it with a curling iron and all this other stuff. You guys, you know what, next time before I straighten my hair, I'm going to contact you and ask you, should I straighten my hair? And I want everybody to say, no, because I do this all the time. I'm about to get in the shower right now and put conditioner on my hair because I don't like the way my hair feels. Honestly, um, I think I've become kind of like a hair snob since I went natural. You know, I'm so anal about my hair. This doesn't look good to me. I mean... It looks okay on the camera, but it's not, um, it's nice and fluffy, you know, and that's great, but it's not as defined as I would like it to be. If it's going to be straight, I want this stuff to be straight, you know what I mean? I don't want it to be like fluffed out and partially curled and all this other stuff. I I'm not into that. You know, maybe if my hair was longer and it hung straight down, it wouldn't be that bad, but, you know, for style that's going to be up by my hair, I'm just not with it. So, or up by my face. Um, I'm not with it, so I'm going to wet this down. But anyway, I want to show you guys my, my length. A lot different than the last time I straightened. Um, well, not the last time, but the last time I came on here after I straightened. Let's see if I can show you the back. I don't know. I don't really know what that looks like. But that's it. And um, thanks, guys, for all your help and support, and I will talk to you soon. Ciao, YouTube.